We are really excited to launch our video news show along with our totally redesigned website. In this weekly series, we will cover key news, events, happenings, opinions, and blogs relating to all the big four accounting and consulting firms to make it easy for you. In this first video, we cover a key event for Accenture stock, a Capgemini acquisition in China, and our discussions with Protivity on a new product launch. This video will be available on our website and the Big Four channel on YouTube. So, let's start with a big change for Accenture. Ten years after going public, the stock is added to the prestigious S&P 500 index. Standard & Poor's announced that in July, it will add Accenture's common stock, ACN, to the S&P 500 index after the close of trading on Tuesday, July 5th. Accenture has 223,000 people serving clients in 120 countries to help create high-performance businesses. The company generated net revenues of $21.6 billion last year. Pamela Craig, Accenture's CFO, said inclusion in the S&P 500 in the same month as the 10th anniversary of their IPO was an exciting milestone. Asset managers who hold the S&P index now need to buy ACN stock, and the stock smartly rose 4% on the announcement. PricewaterhouseCoopers finds that for the third consecutive quarter, IPO proceeds in the U.S. surpassed $10 billion, signaling the ongoing strength and attractiveness of the IPO market as a way to raise capital. Henry Levesque of PricewaterhouseCoopers said they were optimistic the IPO market will continue its resurgence and remain an important source of liquidity and capital for domestic and foreign companies. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, ongoing strength and recovery of the IPO market puts it on pace to eclipse 2010 proceeds of $39 billion. Capgemini announced in June the acquisition of Beijing-based Praxis Technology, a provider of IT and consulting services. This acquisition strengthens Capgemini's strategic plan to build its position in the Chinese market and reinforce its place in China's rapidly growing utility sector. This is a key region for expansion for Capgemini, who employs over 1,800 professionals with offices in major cities throughout China. Capgemini hopes to create a strong momentum in China around its global smart energy service offering. Deloitte is rapidly scaling up its sustainability capabilities, building on its recent acquisitions of Domani Sustainability Consulting, Clear Carbon Consulting, Market Point Incorporated, and Altos Management Partners. It has recently hired two key leaders, Daniel Aronson from IBM and Jacob Madsen from Environmental Resource Management. This has created a new hub of sustainability excellence with a focus to embed sustainability, helping companies drive growth and innovation by using environmental resources as levers for creating value. Deloitte believes that financially responsible environmental and social performance will drive investor and customer decision making. Protivity has just introduced a new addition, time and expense management module to its governance portal for internal audit. This new module adds to the existing audit scheduling and electronic work paper capabilities, helping to create an internal audit workflow. We talked with Scott Winooski, who indicated that internal audit is becoming more critical to GRC as organizations move up from simple governance to performance and control. Protivity offers an industry-leading solution since it powerfully integrates IA with GRC, provides extensive product features supported by deep consulting with expertise. With this new addition, it provides a compelling benefit for both domestic and international companies. This has been Katie Morrison with your Big Four video newsletter.